stressful, but fun. <laughs> Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something uh, creative again. I don't know if this exists on booktube, like I never saw any videos like this, uh, but you know what, let me check. Uh, what I want to do is pick a random book from my bookshelf and talk about it, see if I've read it, whether I've liked it or not. Uh, so yeah, I want to check if it exists already, or if it does, whatever, and if it doesn't, yay! <laughs> okay, so there are some random book videos, but it seems like people pick a book and then read, like they pick a random book and then they read it. But I'm not gonna be reading, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna show it to you and, and uh, see what kind of discussion we can come up with. <laughs> okay, so the first book, I'm not looking. This is probably a bad video idea. Um, okay, let me try that again. Okay, I'm not looking, right? Okay. Oh, Le Jardin des Arômes. Okay, so this book is in French, and I bought it when I was in France, obviously. I'm not even sure if I was the one who bought it, uh, or it was a gift. Uh, but anyway, it talks about herbs and plants. I've not, I haven't read it, but yeah, I like, um, Actually, I like we we do have a lot of herbs, and I love adding them to my meals because I love cooking. So, yay! Do you have a favorite herb? <laughs> okay, so I hope I don't knock anything off my bookshelf again. Uh, okay, let's dig a little deeper. To pick this one so it says who's in charge free will and the science of the brain yeah i remember um it was actually my husband who bought this book but um yeah it says let me read the back for you how much control do you have over your own actions if your brain controls your mind who controls your brain i haven't read this book either but it sounds super interesting i do want to read it at one point um, do you also like books about, you know, just like self-help books, or do you think they're a bit overrated? Okay, next one. Sorry, I looked. I wasn't supposed to do that. Sorry. Okay. Ooh, I'm sweating. Let's try that again. Oh, Norwegian Wood. This book made me cry and it was really, it's a, it's a really heavy read, but it's definitely worth reading. It's by Haruki Murakami. And this is the only book that I read by him. Um, and I was like, okay, this was such a heavy read that I'm not sure like, I don't think I'm ready to read anything by him for now, but maybe I am ready now. Do you have any Haruki Murakami rec book recommendations? Let me know. What is this? Okay, I picked Hate, Why We Should Resist It with Free Speech, Not Censorship. I'm going to read uh, what it says on the back. Nadine Strassen writes eloquently in her new book, A Democracy Succeeds Only When the Rights, Thoughts, and Aspirations of All Its Citizens Are Respected and Given Voice, and the Citizenry Believes That This Is True Regardless of Viewpoint. Um, I'm not, somebody's calling me on the phone, but I just want to say that I'm not sure I agree with this. Like, if you hurt somebody, like, if you if you're hurting somebody then why should you just shut your mouth you know we don't need to hear it nobody needs to hear it but I 
I don't know if you if I want to read this. Um, this is so stressful, but fun. <laughs> okay, now already went here, so we're going a little bit over there. Oh, this is such a nice book again in in French. Um, and it's the art of happiness. So basically, Dalai Lama talks about uh, the way he achieves um, inner peace. And I really want to read this, but you know what? When I read books in a foreign language, it's like it's like a task. So like in this book, he's teaching me how to be how not to be anxious. But when I read in French, I'm a little bit anxious. So. It doesn't really go together, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. It's like I speak French every day because my husband's French, but I don't, it's not really a joy. This is a short one. Oh, the cinnamon, the cinnamon peeler. This is such an amazing collection of poems by Michael Ondachi. Oh, I have no idea how to pronounce his last name, but um, on that G, on that T, on that G. Let me see how to pronounce it because I don't want to mess this up. On that G. Oh, I said it right. On that G. So, yes, by Michael. So, this book is, was written by Michael Ondachi. Um, and I really love his poems and the way he writes. So, and I want to read my favorite poem by him so yeah i was gonna read <laughs> i was gonna read my favorite poem but i realized that it's not it may not be appropriate for um uh, it might not be appropriate for any everyone so i so yeah i just want to read one of the poems to you why not application for a driving license two birds loved in a flurry of red feathers, like a burst cotton ball, continuing while I drove over them. I'm a good driver, nothing shocks me. Ooh, that was a, okay. so thanks for that mental image, but what do you think that means? I think it means that um, we never, we don't really think about our actions. Like, I think that sometimes we, we just blindly follow instructions without necessarily um, paying attention to the world around us, you know, not looking. What is this? Oh, this is a heavy one. Oh, skincare by Caroline Hirens. Um, so she gives the best advice for any type of skin and uh, she she also, in this book specifically, she gives you like a very, like this is all you need. If you want to take care of your skin, just buy this book and I love, love your Caroline. Okay, let's do one more and then we're done. Uh, advances in the sociology of language. And what a fun, what a great opportunity for me to tell you that I'm a linguist. I love languages. I speak a couple of languages and I studied uh, languages <laughs> in university. So I needed this book for one of my, um, one of the papers that I did. And so, um, yeah, great, great book for any linguists out there. Thank you.